hopefully I'm actually streaming. Hopefully nothing br nothing breaks this this episode, this stream. Okay. Here we are. <laughs> uh, we're on trial three now. We sure are. It's gonna be quite interesting. Oh boy. Okay, where are we at? We're right there. So, I'm just gonna go over it real quickly. Uh, two people have died. And now we are going to basically figure out who did it. And I'm not ready. <laughs> um, I think I'll wait like maybe two more minutes just to see if maybe somebody else shows up. Uh, I've got couple of people in chat right now or a couple of people watching right now not in chat I only have one person in chat but um, when I tell you that this is one of my favorite chapters I really mean it I mean the trial is great it's just it's great um, I was joking with a friend that I might cry, actually. Um, out of joy or out of out of laughter, out of out of sadness, you'll never know. You won't know until it starts. <laughs> um, so, anyways, we are. pretty much halfway through the game now. I mean, class trial three is technically your, your halfway point in any of these games. Um, so I may, uh, I may just continue on with this. Um, I, I will have to download, um, ultra despair girls. I think we're going to do ultra despair girls first instead of V3. Uh, cause V3, um, kind of derails the entire series, I think, um, in a way. So, um, it's going to be a little interesting. Anyways, I think I'll get started now, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do what we normally do, and we'll go through over all the evidence and stuff, so. Here we are. Everyone who heard the announcement had gathered in the front of Monokuma Rock. And soon enough... Welcome! Is everybody here? Do you guys want to go to the class trial? Wait. Hey, jerk, hold it right there! Monami's such a dumb child. <laughs> what? Don't get in my way. You're just a dumb little sister who's short a few brain cells. My brain works just fine. Hey, hey. Marakuma, what did you do with Nekumaru? Ooh, you're right. He's gone. Hmm. I see. So you've come to avenge him. Yes. Avenge? That sounds like he died. <laughs> sounds like you say. Oops. Anyway. Anyway, since Nekumaru is unfortunately un unavailable today, let's just say he's absent. Uh, bye bye. Now then, I gotta go first. I won't let you. Uh, hold on, I won't let you escape. Hey, hey, hey! Did you hear what he said? Huh? Don't worry about it. There's no way Nekumaro is dead. He's just trying to piss us off. D damn it! Of course he's not dead. There's no way, not in a million years. Well. More importantly, it's best if we decide if we worry about ourselves for now. <laughs> uh, if something happens here, everyone. You of us except Nakumaru will die. I 
I don't know. I don't think that's how that works. Because... I don't think Nekumaro killed anyone, so he wouldn't get away scot-free. He'd probably just be executed alongside you guys. <laughs> Why are you so excited about that? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> My poor baby! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> She's like, what the heck? <gasps> Sal Arson just followed me. Thank you for following! Welcome! Is that, is that true, Sal Arson? Do you commit arson? That's not very good. How about it? <laughs> Who knows, maybe I'm just looking forward to seeing poetic justice prevail. What do you- What are you saying, fiend? <laughs> <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. See? Then let's go. I'm gonna do it! All right, let's hurry up and get this over with. Yeah, you're right. Arson is your last name. For real? Like, for real? That- I'm very sorry, but that's kind of an unfortunate last name. <laughs> imagine- I imagine you get a lot of questions and concerns. <laughs> Uh, we stepped into the escalator and ascended towards the gaping mob, Monokuma Rock. And that's when I suddenly noticed it. I noticed our lined up silhouettes keeping getting, keep getting smaller and smaller. Yep, that's true. More people are dead. Um, but I can't turn back now. If I turn back, I won't be able to press forward. Alright, and when everyone was inside Monokuma Rock... Oh! Interesting. The elevator began its deep descent as usual. But nobody said a word. As we stood there trying to figure out what to say to each other, the elevator descended deeper and deeper. And when it descended as far as it could go, it finally stopped. The elevator doors open slowly, almost tantalizingly so. So, bleh. I'm <laughs> not a fan of how fast the elevator is getting empty. You, me too. Ugh. Light poured through from the other side, eroding the boundaries of the darkness. And I walked into that place. How's it gonna look this time? Ooh. <laughs> My, my! It feels pretty toothless with all these empty seats. Well, two people got killed at the same time, and Nekumaro's not here either. Hey, hey. Is ne Nekumaro not really participating? He if he's alive, you should invite him! No, no! Why bother? That's... What? Well, now. now then, let's begin. Yahoo! It's the beginning of the long-awaited class trial. Please enjoy it to your heart's content! All right, and so the curtain to the third class trial was about to open. Ibuki Miura, the ultimate musician. She was really loud, but she was the mood maker of our group. When I was with her, all of my pain and suffering just seemed to melt away. Hyoko Seonji, the uh, ultimate traditional dancer. Uh, just from looking at her adorable face, you'd never know she was actually selfish and foul mouthed. But she was trying to change herself, and she was desperately trying to come to terms with Mahiro's death. The person who killed those two is among us. Imposter. <laughs> it's one of us! I definitely can't believe it. But whether I believe it or not is irrelevant. Unless I figure out the truth, I won't be able to escape from this hell. Among us. Among us. <laughs> um, I like this version of the class trial where they like 
set everybody up at first. Like, you could see their portraits. And you could see who's dead and who's not, because obviously red means they died. Or pink, in this case. Pink or red? It's reddish pink, I guess. That's why I must find out, no matter the cost. For our sake. For our friend's sake. For Ibuki and Hyoko's sake. We gotta figure it out. We gotta find out who did it. And if you know, no spoilers. And so, the curtain to the class tr third class trial was about to open. This life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair has begun. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> Alright, let's set, set some skills, because we did get one. Uh, we got one from Mikon. We got Silent Massage. Uh, the focus gauge recovers at a faster rate. Alright, cool. We got that. We're done. Uh, we don't have anything else. So, we can escape. Uh, we are gonna open the e-handbook. And go over our truth bullets like we do with every class trial. So. Monokuma file number three. Uh, there are two victims this time. Ibuki Miyota and Hyoko Seonji. Ibuki Miyota's cause of death was crushed when was a crushed windpipe as a result of choking. There are no other external injuries. Hioki's, uh, Hi Hioki. <laughs> Hiyoko's cause of death was the blood loss due to her throat being slit by a sharp edged tool. It appears her death was instant. Uh, okay, so we've got some blood on the soles of Ibuki's shoes. Uh, there were blood stains on the soles of Ibuki's feet. Uh, rope used for hanging. The rope used for hanging, according to Mikon, there is no doubt that this is the cause of Ibuki's death. Uh, or the cause of Ibuki's death was her hanging herself with this rope. Uh, motel room key. The key to the motel room that Hyoko was staying in. It was buried deep inside of her kimono, so it was pretty difficult to retrieve. A scrap of thick paper uh, was stuck to the baton lighting. Music venue curtain. A black curtain at the very back of the music venue stage. It is not wide enough to reach the sides of the stage. It looks like it was brought from the supermarket. Uh, and not something that was originally here. Step ladder. Uh, the step ladder was found on the music venue stage, tipped on its side. On its left side, a slight blood stain can be seen. Uh, a candle was found at the front of the music venue stage. It looks like the dim light can be seen in the surveillance camera video it was actually the light from this candle. Uh, the surveillance camera unit was put uh, inside the music venue for communication purposes. It's been smashed to pieces and no longer works. Uh, the AC was cranked up to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it was extremely hot in the music venue because of that. Uh, evidence that a bloodstain was wiped off the floor of the music venue stage since Ibuki had no open wounds. It's believed the blood be uh, belonged to Hyokyo. I can't speak today. <laughs> uh, a strange glob that was stuck to where the both music venue doors touched each other. Chiaki put it in her mouth for some reason. Uh, Mikan, uh, right up until the... Monokuma announcement that morning, Mikan was with Hajime the whole time. Afterwards, she went to the hospital to check on everyone and realized that Ibuki had disappeared. When she rushed out of the hospital to search for Ibuki, she apparently met up with Fuyuhiko. Uh, so the monitor video, the video that Hajime saw at the hospital, it shows a person dressed in a hospital gown wearing a hemp bag on their head as they willingly climbed a stepladder toward the noose. Uh, after Fuyuhiko met uh, Mikan in front- oh, this is Fuyuhiko's account. After Fuyuhiko met Mikan in front of the hospital, they split up to search for Ibuki. They checked the movie theater and Electric Avenue, but they didn't find anyone. Apparently, Fuyuhiko and Mikan were only separated for a short time. Uh, Sonia's account. Uh, Hiyoko was distraught because her kimono was disheveled and she was unable to tie it on her own. That's when Sonia apparently told her about the full-length mirror in the music venue's storage room. 
uh, movie Imitation. The Imitation ticket uh, prepared by Monokuma, one ticket was passed out per person and the date was passed out, it was passed out, is printed on the ticket. Uh, a Monami tote bag that was sold at the movie theater. It's a limited item because only one person can buy it. Apparently you get another bag for free when you purchase it. Okay. Uh, the Wizard of Monami movie. The movie that Monokuma directed. There were a total of three deaths in the movie. First, Monami, the Monami scarecrow died by hanging herself. Next, Monami lion was pumped full of arrows. Finally, Monami Tin Man died by getting chopped into me mental metal pieces. Mental. <laughs> I'm going mental. All right, so that's it. That's all the uh, that's all the the stuff we have. All right, it's time to get this show on the road. Yes. We are ready. Ooh. Now then, my hair let's is in my begin face now. with a simple explanation of the class trial. I love this the, these episodes because I don't have to read much. <laughs> During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. And that person will earn the right to leave this island. <gasps> oh well, who cares this is about nerve-wracking as well. Let's get on with it already. I don't mind starting the trial, but I don't really have a grasp of how the case played out. You know, because I was asleep the whole time. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Even if you do grasp it, you're just gonna confuse the heck out of us, aren't you? Get it right or die. <laughs> exactly. But Nagito's not alone. I don't really get it either. It's true. You were also asleep the whole time. You're fine. Your head's empty anyway. Soda, why do you have to be so mean? Come on. Empty head? Huh. What's wrong with that? Uh, well, a lot, but... <laughs> Listen up. The emptier your head... The more dreams you can stuff inside it, you know? <laughs> Hajime's just like, why am I stuck with these idiots? <laughs> He's like, God damn it. Why? He really said, I'm stuck with a bunch of fucking idiots and I'm... I have no choice but to continue on. Anyway, we shouldn't proceed with the trial if those two can't participate in the arguments. Since he's the first witness, why don't we ask Hajime to explain the incident and the sequence of events? Sure. Then, let's start with when we split into the hospital team and motel team because of the despair disease. The hospital team consisted of Nagito, Ibuki, and Akane, who were infected, and Mikan, Fuyuhiko, and me. The other five on the motel team were myself, Gundam, Kazuichi, Chiaki, and Hyoko. Spending the night at the hospital was prohibited, so Hajime and I had to sleep at our cottages. He's finally actually, like, participating, which I like. This is why Fuyihiko is actually one of my favorite characters. He's such a- he's a good character, man. I woke up at my cottage on the day the incident happened. Yes. Nikon came by to wake me up and told me that Nagito had recovered from his symptoms. We immediately headed over to the hospital, and after we confirmed his recovery, I made Nikon rest in the on-call room, since she hadn't slept all night, while I waited in the hospital lobby. And then, I saw the incoming signal light on the surveillance camera blinking before our scheduled time. When I pressed the button to turn on the monitor, what appeared on screen was... A video of someone wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head, climbing a stepladder. Hmm, interesting. Amazing! That's such a heart-pounding story! And then what did you do, Hajime? <laughs> Why is he so into it? Why? I, I tried to stop them, of course. Uh, did we, though? I rushed out of the hospital oh, yeah, and we ran did. to where the video was being recorded, the music venue. 
but it was too late. By the time I arrived, the person wearing the hint bag on their head was already hanging from the ceiling. I thought I should tell the others right away, so I headed to the motel. Why the motel? Because it was close to the music venue, and unlike the hospital, there were more able-bodied people there. True. At least, that's what I thought. But the only person who came with me was Chiaki. But I remember feeling a little relieved because not long after, we met up with Mikan and Fuyuhiko. Yeah. This is all lining up. We were also looking for Ibuki since she disappeared from our site. After I rested for a bit, I started counting everyone at the hospital. And then I noticed Ibuki was gone. So I, I sprinted out of the hospital. She's so cute. Coincidentally, I ran into Fuyuhiko, so I pled with him in various ways to see if he could help me out. Various ways? Uh, uh, <laughs> no! Not like that! Don't say it like that and confuse people. Uh. After I heard from those two that Ibuki disappeared, I had a feeling she was the person wearing the hemp bag. So I immediately led them to the music venue. But the door wouldn't open. Since we had no other option, the four of us broke down the door. And when that happened, we didn't just find Ibuki's body. We also found Hiyoko's. That's very true. And not just that. Her body was taped to a pillar. It sure was. That's when we heard the body discovery announcement. Not once, but twice in a row. And so we decided to lower the hanged body, didn't we? Yes, we did. Oh, God. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> when we removed the hemp bag, just as we feared, it was Ibuki. Yes. So that's how the case played out. Thank you. I understood it very easily. Okay, what about you, Akane? Did you understand it? Well, it's clear what the problem with this case is. When Hajime left the music venue, who... Wait, how do I know anything Hajime just said is true? Huh? Sorry, I'm only being impartial right now. And the story I just heard is clearly suspicious. Why would it... Why? Hajime, if you're the only one who saw the hanging video and the first one to discover Ibuki's body, then you can be lying as much as you want right now, right? Lie? Why would I lie? Yeah, why would he lie? Obviously. I don't get it. So you can make us ignore what might be an inconvenient truth for you. Inconvenient truth? That's a book. Oh no, wait. Is it a book? No, ain't that sorry. I'm thinking of something else. Never mind! <laughs> Do you doubt me? Yes. He doubts you. If you're not lying, I would like you to prove it. Come on, try to prove it to me. Prove you're not the killer. Uh <gasps> Hello Ken! Welcome! We're on the class trial. We're gonna figure out who killed Buki and Hyoko. It's just as Kazuichi said. Nagito's the kind of guy who will just confuse us and make matters worse. Damn it! I should have explained it to Nag. I shouldn't have explained it to Nagito. I'm in trouble now. But thanks to that. All right, here we go. <laughs> I forget how to do this. <laughs> uh, movie invitation ticket. That's it. That's the one! Hajime's testimony is clearly suspicious. How is it? If Hajime's testimony is a lie, then the fact that Ibuki hung herself... That would also be a lie. Okay. I don't think I can deny that possibility. After all, Hajime is the only witness. Okay. Why would Hajime lie? Well, obviously, because he's the killer. No. Did Hajime kill both of them? 
the fact that the bodies were imitating the moon. No, that's wrong. Bitch, we got you. I'm not the killer. I mean, there's no way I'd be able to imitate that movie. One. <laughs> Girlfriend saw Mikan in the corner. It was like, God, that's if that's if you like Hinata. They're they're voiced by the same actress, I think. Uh. I've never watched Naruto in my life, by the way. <laughs> and you're extreme. Yes! Yes. Of course you're not. I already knew that. What? Why the fuck would you do that then? Huh? Before the incident, Hajime had never watched that movie. His invitation ticket is proof of that. Each person only received one ticket. And they're marked with a stamp that shows the date. Okay, time. never mind. I was thinking I was thinking inconvenient Indian. Or is it inconvenient Indian? I don't know. I have I have book covers that I designed for it in my dresser over there. Yes, I designed book covers. Uh it was a um it was part of my publishing degree certificate thing um anyways <laughs> isn't that right monokuma yes no mistakes there which means there's no way hajime who never saw the movie could commit murders that imitated it then why did you lead us on a fucking wild goose chase with that fucking argument or did anyone tell him what happened to the movie of course no one did, right? Hold on a sec! You're the one who brought this up in the first place! Yeah. Nagito, what are you doing? He's being a dick! Well, since we're opening with your witness testimony, I thought we should solidify the foundation. <sighs> it also provides a good warm-up. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna say, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. What warm up? This isn't a game, you know. <laughs> Don't get mad. I just think warming up is really important. Especially since this isn't a game. Bruh. What a waste of time. Thank well, you. I knew it would turn out like this anyway. I thought. <laughs> I forgot Nagito is the main character like Makoto was. Yeah! They're voiced by the same person, both in Japanese and in English, but Nagito's not the main character. He's just the pain in the ass. <laughs> yes. Now then, since we know Hajime's testimony is reliable, let us move on to the arguments. Let's do it. So this means Ibuki definitely climbed the step ladder all by herself, right? Sure did. Or does it? Yeah, I'm positive. Then that seals it. Ibuki committed suicide. Hmm. If Ibuki committed suicide, then who killed Hiyoko? Hmm. A murder coincidentally occurring in the same place as a suicide ain't possible, huh? Well, you could do a murder-suicide thing where, you know, she killed Hyoko and then killed herself would ex but mm, wouldn't explain the blood on her feet though like I said before it's pretty clear what the problem with this case is the killer murdered Hyoko while Hajime was gone yes so all we gotta do is establish who could have possibly done that a lot of people could have then let's ask Hajime how long would you say you were away from the music venue? I couldn't have been gone for more than 10 minutes. So they killed Hyoko and taped her up within 10 minutes? There's no way that's possible. No. That's why the killer stalled for time by making the music venue a closed room. <laughs> Manakane is butch and got big, <laughs> got big titties, yes. Yes. Hmm? 
What do you mean a closed room? The killer blocked the venue door from the inside to try and keep us from entering right away. Yes. However, that door is the only entrance to the music venue, right? <laughs> Big titty tomboy. <laughs> if they blocked the door from the inside, just the wait until we watch the anime. Either. Ken, you will you will freak. She or oh, the her introduction scene, Akane is just what the fuck. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. Which means when we broke down the venue door, the killer was still inside. Mm. <laughs> oh god, she's so cute! <laughs> if that's the case, the only suspicious people are those who don't have an alibi for that time. I don't I don't think that's right. And that's but... you two. Sonia and Kazuichi. <laughs> Me too? What the hell? Why is it gonna be us? The others all have alibis. Chiaki, Mikan, Hajime, and I all broke down the venue door together. Gundam met up with Hajime at the motel right before that. And if Akane and Nagito were laid up in the hospital, the only person that leaves is one of you. There's another person who doesn't have an alibi. You know, Nekomaru. He's in the hospital right now because he got a fucking cannon to the chest. How, how would he be able to kill someone? He's in the hospital because he got a cannon to the chest. <laughs> that's where, that's where he is. Me too! Hey, why are you talking like, huh? You're kidding, right? You're not up to something weird, are you? Oh, God. Please stop making bad jokes. <laughs> Anyway, if the killer was hiding inside the venue, we should obviously doubt the people who don't have alibis. What a wicked way of backing us into a wall! Is this his professional skill? <laughs> killer was inside. Mm. Is that really it? I don't think so. All right, here we go. What do we need? Uh, fuck the me, I don't still know what- the music venue. By locking the door from the inside, they tried to keep us from getting in. It seems they were trying to stall for time. How did they lock the door? Oh. That door should not have had a lock. The lock was on the floor in front of the door. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? No, that's wrong. That was dumb. That broken drumstick was used. Yeah, okay, hold on. Uh, okay. Crap. Okay. We gotta start the this all over again. The killer was still inside the music venue. By locking the door from the inside, they tried to keep us from getting in. It seems they were trying to stall for time. How did they lock the door? That door should not have had a lock. The lock was on the floor in front of the door. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? Yeah. You can use that as a bolt to lock the door. By doing that, the killer who was hiding inside waited till we gathered together and suddenly appeared. So they look like they had just rushed over. I have seen this in serial crime dramas. Okay, hold the fucking phone. I'm <laughs> I'm confused by this one. We're looking up the guide. We're looking up the guide. There's no shame. There's no shame in looking up the guide. Okay? I love how the first thing that pops up onto my Google search is when I start typing in Danganronpa is Danganronpa for the Switch. Because I just pre-ordered that. <laughs> uh, uh, two, last trial. Three. Trapped by the ocean scent. 
get. Okay, go away. I don't care. Um, where's the goddamn trial? Oh, oh god, I'm scrolling way far. Okay, class trial. Um, from the inside. What? Okay. 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 The killer was I got still the right inside one. the music venue. By locking the door from the inside. That's wrong. No, that's wrong. <sighs> There's also a possibility that the door was locked from the outside. We did it, boys and girls and non-binary friends. Hold on a sec. From the outside. There's a semi-transparent glob stuck to the venue door. And that's what they used. Semi-transparent glob. Like rubber, maybe? It wasn't rubber at all. That's it was glue. You fucking retards. I see. I'm sorry! <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. Good. I've been hanging around my dad way too much. I'm so sorry. <laughs> glue? Yeah, it was glue. Yeah, I think so too. It had a firm gel-like chewiness. And I could smell workshop chemicals the moment I put it in my mouth. Why would you put it in your mouth? Based on all that, I'm certain it was glue. Chiaki ate glue as a child. I didn't know glue was ever. It's not. I believe it is not something one typically eats. Of course Akane would be like, huh? Glue's edible? I should have been eating it this whole time! That glue was only applied to the areas where both doors touched. By pouring it in the gaps of the closed door, it must have sealed the venue door from the outside. And thanks to that, a glob of glue was left where the door was stuck. Yep. It fits perfectly. It sure do. But if you just stick them together with glue, you'd be able to break down the door easily, you know? She got a point! That doesn't really matter. The killer only did that to make us think the door was locked from the inside. What'd you say? First of all, didn't that drumstick we found seem really obvious? Almost unnaturally so. True. It was so obvious that it makes more sense to think the killer placed it as a diversion. Are you saying the drumstick was a trap the killer set on purpose? Then I... I totally fell for that fucking trap. Yeah, you did. But it's fine. We all kind of fell for it at first. Apologize to Miss Sonia. And me. However, you're not allowed to slice open your stomach this time. Fair. That's fair. Girl, both sides are to blame. That's why it's better to just have no sides at all. But how do you get anything resolved that way? That doesn't make sense. So, during the ten minutes Hajime left the venue, the killer murdered Hiyoko and created a closed space? That seems very unlikely. And they also taped her up after killing her, right? That also seems very unlikely. Even quick work has limits. Oh, what unimaginable speed for a slow poke like me. She's so she's so cute. If they couldn't have done it while Hajime was away from the venue, they must have done it earlier than that. Earlier? But when Hajime got to the venue, only Ibuki's body was there, right? And when you went back with everyone else, Kyoko's body was there too, right? Mm-hmm. But it's possible that the body was just revealed at that time, when Hyoko was actually killed earlier. That makes a lot of sense. Just revealed? God. Why is she so cute? I can't handle this. 
Of course, the body wasn't revealed on its own. The killer did that too. Here, I have proof. Hmm, that scrap of paper. Is that what we found in the baton lighting at the music venue? That is exactly what we found. That's right, but just what is this scrap anyway? Oh god, no! Oh no! Should have been something- Oh god, no! Are we doing a hangman's gambit? No! I hate these! Oh my god, please don't be slow at least. Oh god. What am I even looking for? I don't even know. W. W. E. R. R. A. A. No. No. W? Okay, W. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, uh, A? Okay, that's right. Uh, wall? Okay, yes, it's wall. Wallpaper! Huh? No! Please! I need another no! Please! Please! Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy! Oh my god! This is- Oh god. Why is this so hard? Oh god. Why did I decide on this? Why did I think this game was a good idea? <laughs> Can't even- No! Oh god. Oh, God damn it. Why is that so nerve wracking? <laughs> I'm like lightheaded now from like nerves. <laughs> Storage. It should have been black wallpaper that's the same color as that scrap. God. There was also a tear along the edge of the wallpaper, wasn't there? If so, you're right. You overlaid the scrap that was caught on the lighting, tear in the wallpaper. See? It fits perfectly. It fits perfectly. Thanks, Nagito. I see. So the scrap that was caught on the baton lighting was originally part of the wallpaper. And what's wrong with that? Does it have something to do with Hyoko's body disappearing? Yes. A mere nobody like me isn't important enough to answer that. But if you guys were exceptional enough to identify that scrap of paper, you can figure this out easily. Scrap of paper stuck to the list what I found in the storage room. Connected to the sudden- Oh god, what are we doing now? Please don't tell me we're doing another Hangman's camp Gambit right at- oh, I'm looking at the guide to make sure that we're not. <laughs> oh, we're doing a logic- okay. We're doing a logic dive. We're snowboarding. It's fine. Alright. Uh, if I trace back from there, the answer should become clear. Uh, okay, I forget how to do this. Alright, let's give it a try. We're doing a logic dive. I forget how to- okay, hold on, escape. Escape! Okay. Uh, accelerate is the control key. 
break is right mouse button, jump is left mouse button, um, and the mouse is to move. Okay, let's go. Oh god! Oh, oh no! <laughs> Why? Okay, I guess, I guess control. There we go. Question one. Why did Hyoko's body, body suddenly disappear? It was hidden. It was hidden! I don't know why we have to go through all these loops. Watch me end up dead. Oh god. What the fuck? Playing this on the Vita was so much easier. <laughs> I'll be honest! Question two. The wallpaper- OH GOD! I was so good at this on the Vita. I'm not good at it now. Oh god. Oh my god, this is so hard. What the fuck? Help. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, what the hell is this course? I swear to god. Oh my god. Okay. Finally, third answer. How did the killer hide her body with the wallpaper? They covered the pillar. Duh. This is giving me pain. Cool 3D boarding is giving me PTSD from a game I used to play in college. <laughs> what game was that? Because it gives me PTSD from this game. <laughs> it's all coming together. I did it. I got it right. All right. Got it. Kyoko's body was hidden before we found it. Yes. But it would have taken quite a long time to tape up a hidden body. No, the body was already taped up and the killer hid it, along with the pillar using the wallpaper. Yeah! What? They hid the pillar? Of course! That makes total sense! Yeah, by wrapping the wallpaper around the pillar, the killer was able to create a slightly larger pillar. Yeah! So when I first discovered Ibuki's body, Yoko's body was already there! Ba bomb Just under the pillar! I keep pointing at the screen, but you guys can't see me pointing at it! I'm... I'm an idiot! However, because it was concealed within a slightly larger pillar, I didn't realize that at the time. Well, that's understandable. I mean, it makes sense that you'd notice Nabuku's body right away. So they used the baton lighting on the ceiling to hang the wallpaper? The baton lighting forms a perfect circle around the pillar, so using it to hang the wallpaper totally fits. Then, the reason the wallpaper was covered in so many stickers was to make it look like that pillar. You're right! You're right! That's how they hid Hyoko's body, and then peeled off the wallpaper as soon as I left the music thing. But the killer made a mistake. They accidentally ripped off a piece of the wallpaper. And because of that, a scrap was left on the baton lighting. Sure was. The killer must have been in a hurry. Their plan took too long. Hajime could have walked in on them. But going 
going to the trouble of hiding the body and the pillar is very full and risky. It sure is, sweetheart. Oh my god. The crime itself would be much easier to pull off since they don't have much to do while Hajime's gone. Okay, hold on, pause. I want I wanna know I wanna know what Kin who Kin thinks it is. <laughs> Cause Kin's never seen it. She never played the game, so I wanna know what she, who she thinks it might be. <laughs> you just have to peel off that wallpaper and stash it in the storage room. It's not that big of a deal. And when was Hyoko actually killed? Good point. And on that note, it's about time we shed some light on those imitation murders. Um, you mentioned imitation murder more than once. But what is that? It's when you copy a murder that you see in media. Are you kidding me? You haven't seen my masterpiece? The Wizard of Monomy 2.5D? Hey! Don't put my likeness in your movies without my permission! <laughs> You're pretty noisy for someone who eats mothballs! You said- okay. They say mothballs here, but then he said mothballs. I'm- I'm pretty sure he said mothballs. Can I just ask if what who you thought Oh the internet went wag. Okay, you didn't miss much. I just I asked I asked you who you thought it was. Who did you think do the did do the killing? Boston X. Hmm. I've never heard of that one. <laughs> Gundam or Mekon? Hmm. Interesting. I'm not gonna say. I don't eat moss balls. I just enjoy looking at them. Alright. I knew it. There are so many similarities. It must have been intentional. Ibuki's death by hanging. Matches the scarecrow's death from the movie. That's that's true. Not just that, but Hyoko getting taped up after her death matches the lion's death. It's as if both crimes were replicas of scenes from the movie, although the mutilated Tin Man was omitted. But why did the killer go to all this trouble in the first place? Based on what we know. The reason the killer chose these imitations isn't that difficult to figure out. The reason ki the killer in imitated the two victims in that movie... They probably wanted us to think everything was happening the same way it did in the movie. Uh, I wouldn't say because they like movies. Oh, to mix up the killing order might be it, the right one. I'm just checking the guide to see if that's right, but I think that is. Yeah. It is. The reason the killer imitated two of the murders from the movie was so he'd mix up the killing order. Ah! Then, Kyoko was actually killed before Ibuki? Hmm, that's interesting. A valid line of reasoning. Yeah, it's valid. The condition of Ibuki's body suggests that as well. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to cry and beg like that, then I guess I'll hear about the condition of Ibuki's body. Let's see. I'm not even crying. <laughs> I'll let you sob as much as you want later. Just hurry up and tell me before I change my mind. What a jerk! <laughs> oh, I see. You want me to explain it to you, right? Because you don't understand what I'm saying, right? Yes! An even bigger jerk? Impossible! <laughs> Look, 
Ibuki died because she hanged herself, right? That means when she was still alive, her feet were touching the floor. Ah. What's wrong with that? But it seems Ibuki was still standing when Hyoko was killed. That would mean Hyoko was killed before Ibuki. <laughs> How light. Your words are so light, as light as the sylph's feather. <laughs> your opponent is out of your league. It is too absurd to try to perplex me so inadequately. Uh, okay. I, yet yeah, you're you're very perplexed, we can tell. Man, he's being annoying again. <laughs> First and foremost, you claim Ibuki's feet were touching the floor when Hiyoko was killed. How can a low-class creature with no psychic abilities like you know something like that? I don't think you have psychic abilities either, Gundam, but, you know. Because she was doing something that's only possible if her feet were on the floor. It seems you suffer from a pathetic delusion. You're one to talk. Anyway, if this continues, we're just going to talk in circles. I think it's best if we clarify Ibuki's status when Hyoko was killed. She was alive. <sighs> okay. Blood on the souls. Yes. When Hyoko died, Ibuki's feet were on the floor. I am telling you to present your evidence. Did you see her walking? If her feet were on the floor, was there any sign she stepped on something? I agree with that. Woo! Just as Sonia said, Ibuki stepped on something. Yes, she did. That something was blood. There were faint blood stains on the soles of her slippers. That is not Ibuki's blood, right? She suffered no external injuries. Exactly. Then it's Hiyoko's blood. Yes. Good job, Akane. You have more than one brain cell. Hiyoko's only wound was a fatal slice on her neck. And she died almost instantly, right? If Ibuki stepped on her blood... It means Ibuki was still standing when Hiyoko was mortally wounded. Which means Ibuki was still alive at the exact moment Hiyoko was killed. It. Oh, well, there you go. Don't underestimate oh, the God damn it. Evil eye. <laughs> oh, God. Is that it? A shepherd dressed in his Sunday's finest still reeks of lamb, Hajime Hinata. <laughs> Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Yes. Does that mean you have a rebuttal? It's a good line. Okay, I gotta figure out which one this is. Uh, okay. I think I have it. I think I have it ready. I know what we need to do. What? Are you sure you're sure? If I show you how serious I am, this world might be destroyed, you know. You're so frightened you can't even make a sound. It seems you've realized our difference in status. However, the time for conviction starts now. You better entertain me to the fullest. Okay. Here we go. You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet belongs. Ha! Impossible! Try to remember the crime scene. There was no. You can't step on blood that was never there. <laughs> Just a nice nightmare. Okay, I think I got this wrong. Uh, I think I got this wrong. Okay, I did get this wrong. <laughs> okay. You're saying the blood on the. Oh, impossible! Try to remember the crime scene. There was no blood on the floor. There we go. Uh, cut through those words. That's not it. There was the reason blood. there was no blood on the floor is because the killer wiped it away afterward. Did they? Did they though, or was it Ibuki walking? 
over it. Don't say such foolish things. You don't have proof of that at all. Yes, I do. You look closely. There's a streak on the floor where blood was wiped away. When the killer tried to hide Yoko's body, they probably cleaned the blood at the same time, but... Ibuki must have already stepped in it, and the killer probably didn't even realize it. <laughs> the reason they wiped off the blood on the floor was so we'd mix up the order of the murders, right? Yes. They didn't want us Even to see... Even if they're able to hide Hyoko's body, it'd be bad if her blood was left out in the open. Yeah, because then it would display that there was another body. I don't understand why there's, there's a titty typhoon bar on an island full of teenagers. And why are they advertising tequila? That's... No. <laughs> Underage drinking is really, really bad. Plus, Ibuki's body was left out in the open, and it wasn't bleeding from any open wounds at all. Yoko's body was probably wrapped in duct tape to stop her bleeding. Yes. We can tell from her neck, which is covered in duct tape. Actually, the bleeding will stop once the heart stops beating. So I don't think they had to go that far. Mikan and her beautiful medical knowledge. She's she's the she's the VIP in this. She's the the number one. Aside from Mikan, none of us were aware of that fact. So the killer probably did not know it either. That's a good point, and you're right. Maybe that Peter was running inside the music thingy so it would screw with Nikon's autopsy? That's also a good point. Probably. That's right! I didn't know the time of death because of the heater! The time of death wasn't mentioned in the Monokuma file just to keep concrete evidence from us. Yep. Since we have all this evidence, there's no one else who wants to object, right? Right. Then it's decided. Yoko was killed before Ibuki. Alright, we got that established now. It appears that it is wiser to retreat for now. Fine then, but regardless of good or evil, there's no deceit in upholding one's convictions. Can't you just shut up and back off? God. <laughs> These two just are constantly fighting. Kazuichi and, and Gundam. I just... Constantly. Now then, let us resume our debate. Coffee's finished. And put it right by the Kurobi studio. Ah, wait a sec. There's something I want to run by Monokuma first. Okay. Uh -huh. Again? Didn't something like this happen last time too? Yeah. Hey, if the victim actually committed suicide, what are we supposed to do? We all die, I guess. A suicide? The same as always. You have to vote for who the killer is. Oh, so we could have we can vote for someone who's already dead, I guess. I mean, okay, yeah, you're right. It happened in the last game with trial 4. So, that makes sense. Think about it. A suicide means you've killed the most important existence of all, yourself. Unfortunately, that means there's no blacken to punish, but I guess in a pinch, I can always punish Monami. Why me? Because you're the closest. Um, Nagito? What do you mean, if the victim actually committed suicide? Well, I mean, I understand Hyoko's death, but I'm wondering if Ibuki was really murdered. I like how the little crosses on all of their portraits match up with their um talent in some way like ibuki's a, is a pair of drumsticks and uh taro taro's is a fork and a knife because obviously he's a chef right i don't know about my heroes though for example i haven't seen hers it's yet it's possible ibuki killed yoko and then committed suicide due to a guilty conscience right that's totally impossible. Oh, okay. I see. They're just regular crosses. That's that's 
that kind of sucks. I wish it was more, like, like, my heroes could totally be, like, uh, like, film strips, you know, like, old film strips, and then, oh, have a good night, Ken, thank you for coming in. The, the archive will be up on, on, uh, YouTube soon. Um, but yeah, my heroes could totally be, like, film strips, and, like, Pekos could be swords, obviously. Uh, Hyokos could be, like, I don't know. Oh yeah, thank you, see you, have a good night. She was afflicted by the despair disease, remember? That means anything can happen. All right, you're right, she was. But if Ibuki's the killer, she wouldn't have been able to falsify the sequence of the murders, right? Why wouldn't she? After Hajime saw the hanged body, the sudden appearance of Hyoko's body soon after means... Fair enough, you're right. That's fair enough. The killer had to be alive at that time. Then she was alive. She could have been faking it, but I don't think you can fake hanging yourself without a lot of, like, extra rope and shit. When Hajime first discovered Ibuki, she was just pretending to be dead. If she waited until Hajime left, that's when she could have made her move and mess with the crime scene. She, she hanged herself, remember? There's no fucking way she could have faked that. And if she was going to fake her death, I think she wouldn't have chosen hanging. Hmm. That's interesting. Her body would have been defenseless in that state. If anyone touched her, that alone would have ruined her plan. Hmm, I see. So that means... There's no doubt that someone killed those two. I'm glad. Now I'm free to search for the killer. Okay, so was not a murder-suicide. What the heck? <laughs> There's still one more issue on my mind. If Ibuki didn't commit suicide, then just what was that video Hajime saw? Fair enough. Fair enough. Cause what the... Yeah. According to that video you saw, Ibuki was by herself when she climbed the stepladder, right? Uh-huh. Then does that mean... Someone forced her to do it? The forest? Perhaps they used hypnotism or something? Mm. I don't know anything about that. Don't say it all proud. <laughs> uh, um, putting that aside, it seems obvious that the killer did something. Well, that's true. So, maybe we should figure out who was able to do whatever that was? So, an alibi. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Who has an alibi? Then our plan is to destroy the weakest alibi. Alright! Since Hajime has seen the video, it is clear what time the crime took place. Uh, but just to be sure, that surveillance camera doesn't have a record function, right? It's a cheap-ass surveillance camera, you know? There's no way it'd have some kind of sweet recording feature. Uh. Then, the video Hajime saw was actually right? Oh boy. What time did Hajime see that video? I saw it at the hospital, right before Monokuma's morning announcement. And I saw the body at the music theater a little after Monokuma's announcement. So Ibuki hanged herself right before Monokuma's announcement. And since we established that Hyoko was killed before Ibuki, that means the time that the murders occurred was before and during the announcement. Mm, I don't know. We just have to find the person who doesn't have an alibi during that time? No, 
then, I shall issue my decree. Let Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi commence. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Mekons. Hold on. Hold on. Escape. Escape for a quick second. I'm pretty sure it's Mekons. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I was right. I was right. And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. Yep. That's not an alibi. Yes, it is. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi, then... No, that's wrong. Hold on. Not all of us are missing an alibi. Exactly. In fact, Mekon and I both have alibis. We both do. You, you two have alibis? Yes. Up until I saw that hanging video, Mekon and I were actually together for a while. We even woke up together that morning. God! <laughs> you sure fucking did. Info. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's not like that. She just came to tell me Nagato's condition had improved. And we went to the hospital together afterward. So we were together until right before the announcement. I get it. You guys have alibis. If that's the case, the killer must be someone else. It's better if we think about it like that. The killer decided to falsify the murder sequence to hide the actual time of the crime anyway. So it's inevitable that an alibi for both before and during the morning announcement would be very important. Yes. Hmm. It feels like Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has backed us into a corner instead. Mm-hmm. But committing an imitation murder, is that really all it was? Huh? Faking the time the crime occurred by falsifying the murder sequence, hiding their alibi in the process. Was that the only reason the killer made both bodies imitate the movie? Are you saying there was another reason? Hmm. Hmm. I feel really bad for confusing you guys so much, but that's how I feel. I think the killer had a completely different reason for falsifying the murder sequence. A different reason? What would that different reason be? If that's the case, are we still in the killer's trap? Inside a trap set by one of us? If so, then... Whose? And what kind of trap is it? Oh! We're at oh, we're halfway through the the trial already. <gasps> this one's really quick, actually. It's only been a, an hour and fourteen minutes. Usually, this thing takes takes us like three hours, or three and a half hours at least. Then again, the later halves are always longer. Why, hello there, Monami. The moss balls sure look tasty today. Stop! Stop it. Don't characterize me as someone who lives off moss balls. And here's some chance time. What? What's that? Now then, Monami's appeal time starts now. Huh? Appeal time? Your kind-hearted big brother is going to give you the chance to reclaim your honor. Good luck. Show those jerks who treat you like a red-headed stepchild who's boss. <laughs> That's so mean against redheads. 
That's 99% your fault. While you were whining, your time's already running out, so please make your appeal simple. About 30,000 words or so. That's too long! It'll just be a boring appeal! Come on, if your appeal is successful, there might be a merchandise opportunity headed in your way. <laughs> um, Ben... I'm Usami, magical girl Usami. I'm an itty bitty girl who's sweet like milk. Uh huh. Jeez, and I thought a certain robot's little sister wasn't supposed to be the best. Was supposed to be the best. What a disappointment! Gosh. Um. Who are you talking about? I have no clue whatsoever. Yes, because oh boy, this trial is a doozy. Here we go! I'm Monami! Once again, I've been put in such an unreasonable situation! Seriously, he's like the king of unreasonableness! Why did it turn out like this? We were supposed to have a fun, friendly school trip, but it turned out all bloody instead! I sure did. No! This definitely cannot be allowed! That's why! I want you to remember this! Everyone, do your very best. Don't lose to yourself. And don't forget to save frequently! Alright! They always had to put- okay, back when, when this was on the Vita and like the PSP, I think it was started out on- the first game was on the PSP, I don't think this game was on the PSP. But the Vita version, um, it was known to crash every once in a while! <laughs> On the Vita, uh, so they were like, save often, save often. <laughs> the reason the killer did an imitation murder is a reason other than falsifying the murder sequence. Does something like that even exist? Huh? huh it suddenly, it suddenly got, got quiet in here. I keep reading things that are going to be voiced. Did I confuse you? If so. I wish I could die from self-loathing. Man, this again. Ugh, he's so annoying. If that's the case, he's such it would have been just dummy. dandy if they had gone ahead and killed me too. If that happened, the invitation would have been perfect. So why didn't they do that? Because they can only kill two people at once. Well, it's against the rules to kill three people in the first place. That rule is too harsh. I couldn't get killed because of that. Why is this man so suicidal? What is... Who hurt you? Who, who did this to you? Why do you want to die so badly? Seriously, just shut up already! Shut up forever! But I'm thinking about it again, and... He's totally right. It feels incomplete. Because they didn't kill three people like the movie did? That's only because of Monokuma's rule. I'm pretty sure they still wouldn't have killed more than two people, even if they didn't imitate. It's not just that. Come on, try to remember the content of the movie. This one, when I first played this game, like the first time I went through this, this part had me fucked up, man. Because I was like, I don't get it. Like, what about... What about the goddamn movie? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> about the lion that got killed second. Hold up. That's the one Hyoko's body was imitating, right? Hmm. Even though we're calling it an imitation, the lion was actually pinned by arrows, right? Yes. Yoko's body was suspended by common household duct tape. Well, I, I don't know where the killer would find arrows on an island like this. Maybe they just used a common substitute because it was too difficult to imitate the arrows. You got a point, Mikon. Well, that's probably it, but that attitude is what makes this feel incomplete. If falsifying the murder sequence was the killer's plan from the very beginning, they should have taken steps to properly imitate it. But if we never realized it was a half-assed imitation, their entire plan would have been completely useless. What are you trying to say? Are you saying the imitation wasn't planned? 
Ooh, there we go. That's a little interesting. I'm saying, Yoko's murder wasn't. What? Hmm. Yoko's murder wasn't planned. Um, I understand that imitation wasn't enough, but aren't you making a bunch of assumptions? It's not just the poor imitation. There are also other strange details. Strange details? Like what? Like, for example, why did Yoko go to the music venue? Oh, Sonia can tell you why. So, you're saying the truth behind Yoko's murder is hidden? I have no freaking clue what you're trying to say. However, this is getting quite interesting. My four dark devas of destruction are getting right. He's getting up. way too into it. Gundam, what happened? <laughs> why, why are you like this? Why are you getting into it? Why did she go to the music venue? Uh, is that the key to all this? Okay. Need to find out no matter the cost. Alright, what are we doing now? Okay, we're just doing an argument. Okay. I can do this. Um... Oh god, what was it? Why did Shoko go to the music venue? There's no way we'd know that! Okay, hold on. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Okay, I think I know what it is. Maybe the killer summoned her. No. If that's no it, maybe she got abducted by the killer. No. No, maybe. She went of her own free will. I agree with that. That's twice we've agreed with Sonya. It's just as Sonya said. She went to the music venue of her own free will. We did it. We did it. So, exactly as I assumed. If no one called for her, then why did she go? Yoko locked herself in her room because she was being overly cautious of the despair disease, you know? Yeah, she was like the one person that was like, Listen here, bitches. I ain't getting this disease. I ain't dying. And then she died. I don't think a person like that would leave their room just because someone called for them. There's no way she got abducted? Yoko locked the room she was staying in before she went out. If she was forcibly taken from her room, there's no way she would have had time to lock it. The killer could have locked her door, right? Just to hide the fact Yoko got abducted. No. Then they couldn't have hidden her room key that deep in her kimono. They would have put it somewhere more obvious. Otherwise, there's no point in messing with the crime scene if nobody finds the key. At the time, you were the one who actually took out the key, right? Then something like that. I won't move! Oh, god damn it! Are you saying my gut was wrong? Yeah, your gut is wrong. This will be my first and last highlight of the day. Why won't you just let me shine already? You will! Trust me! No! Th that's not the issue. You're just... you're wrong! <laughs> shut up! Enough with your fancy talk! I'll shut you up right now! Alright. What do I need? Rebuttal showdown. What do I need? Uh, Sonya's account. Kyoko was locked inside her room, right? She definitely got abducted or something. The killer forced their way into Kyoko's room. Forcibly abducted her! The girl is so small and weak looking. And that's why the killer targeted her. Alright, we advance. Yoko's room was locked. The key was deep inside her kimono, remember? It's more likely that Hyoko locked the door herself. The killer was the one who locked the door. So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later. There's no reason for the killer to put the key in Hyoko's kimono. The killer probably didn't realize she even had the key. Hold on! Try remembering Hyoko's body. Her kimono is only one reason. Oh her god! Would be that we did up. the wrong one! 
Shit, okay. <laughs> Hold on. Let's try it again. Okay. Let's try it again. The killer was the one who locked the door. So what if the key was in a kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later. Okay. There's no reason for the killer to put the key in Hyoko's kimono. The killer probably didn't realize she even had the key. Exactly. Hold on. Try remembering Hyoko's body. The kimono was all messed up. Oh, crap! Fuck! <laughs> okay. Crap. Hold on. Try remembering Hyoko's body. The kimono was all... There's only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer. Allow me to cut through those All right. We got it! It took us a little while, but we got it! The reason Yoko's kimono was messed up was because she wasn't able to properly wear it. Wear her kimono? Yeah. You... Where have you been the last few days? Like, did you not realize that she stunk so bad because she couldn't bathe? Because she couldn't do her own kimono? Yeah. It's also the reason why she decided to go out on her own. Kyoko seemed to be really struggling with wearing her kimono. I believe that was one of the reasons she locked herself in her room. That is why I informed her. I told her that there was a full-length mirror at the music venue, and I suggested that she use it. Then, the reason her kimono was messed up wasn't because she fought the killer. No. Yeah, she went to the venue on her own just to fix her messed up kimono. <laughs> Hajime is so done with this shit. He's like, oh. like you can just hear it in his voice. He's like, yeah, come on. Like, are you that daft? <laughs> I get it. I lost. Boil me, burn me, take off my clothes, do whatever you want to me. No. Hajime, now's your chance. Make her admit defeat. Or better yet, make her do a little something something. I have no respect for you. Yet you you were a good character, but you need to stop right now. Hell no. Then the killer probably couldn't have assumed that Hyoko would go to the music venue. Though that may not apply to Sonya, since she provided Hyoko with that information. Though I knew she would go there, there is no way I could have predicted when she would arrive. There you go. Don't go doubting this Sonya, you cretin. I'll put you and your hamsters six feet under. <laughs> Kazuichi. He simps so seems hard, you have man. Quite the fashion sense. Do you want me to incinerate your clothes? Perhaps I could do that while you're wearing them. No! Stop it! Why- what is with this class and wanting to get naked all the time? Gundam, please stop! For his sake! Huh? What do you mean, for my sake? Of course! I've already overlooked no less than ten opportunities to kill you. Even if the killer couldn't predict it, why did Hyoko get killed in the music venue? Because there was the only a only thing I can think of is it was an unfortunate coincidence. No. No, it wasn't. Coincidence? Um, well, sort of, I guess. When she went to the venue by herself, she was probably just unlucky and walked in on the crime scene. She was killed so there wouldn't be any loose ends? Yeah, she yeah, that makes sense. It probably happened when the killer was preparing to kill Ibuki. The killer most likely had already placed the hemp bag over her head. And without hesitation... Killed Hyoko. Because the killer used that coincidence for their crime, it made this case even trickier. That's the reason they imitated the movie to falsify the murder sequence. So it was very hastily done. Which means that low-down scoundrel didn't plan on committing imitation murders at first. Then what was the killer actually planning to do? Just kill Ibuki, I guess. 
They've been cunning this far. There's no way they'd kill Ibuki without a plan. Do you have any ideas? Damn, we don't know the most important part. Like, why would- yeah, exactly. The whole thing is why. <laughs> why? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're very, very close. Hey, Nagito. Any ideas? Ooh. Had it not been for the laws of this land, I would have killed you. <laughs> Bro, I just want to see some fucking tits. <laughs> He's such a simp. God. Hey, how long are you gonna stay quiet? Oh, am I allowed to speak? Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm so happy I'm getting goosebumps. Everyone actually needs help from scum like me. So what do you think? I was thinking about it while I had my mouth shut. But now I'm finally able to come to a conclusion. Mm. Ibuki definitely didn't commit suicide. We've already established that. Huh? What are you talking about? I thought there might be a possibility that she faked her death and tampered with the crime scene. But now I remember. There was blood on Ibuki's slippers. We've already established these things. So if she faked her death and walked around the music venue tampering with the crime scene, there'd be bloody footprints left in various places throughout the venue. So that's why I think there's no way she faked her death. There's no way Ibuki committed suicide. You're just bringing us back to a, a, a further point. We're past this already. You know, we already finished talking about that a while ago. Uh, really? So you sat there and just not listened to us the entire time. That's annoying. I guess I should just awkwardly laugh about it then. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? There's no limit to how useless you can be. No, wait a minute. If Ibuki had blood on her feet, there'd be footprints all over the place where she was kept walking around. That's strange. That's very strange. This is strange? What's strange? I see. It's not something we finished talking about. Those footprints... There's still an important clue left that we completely overlooked. Just as Nagito said, if she had blood on her feet, she would have left footprints. Why didn't Ibuki leave behind any footprints? I am so confused. What the hell am I supposed to be... It's telling me to present this. I can prove it with this. Okay, that was right for some reason. If Ibuki used the stepladder to hang herself, it's strange that there weren't any footprints on it. Huh? There weren't? Yeah, that stepladder was completely clean. No footprints or bloodstains at all. Well. You notice such a small detail. How amazing! This is true. There was the some of blood on it. Ultimate. What are you talking about? You were obviously leading us to this. That's why you brought up the suicide topic after all this time. You're definitely someone I shouldn't underestimate. But didn't you say you saw that video of Kabuki climbing step ladder? Then I think there's no doubt that she really did climb. Unless there was something funny about that video. I see. So there was some kind of trick arranged in that video. Mm hmm? Hmm. But that's something only Hajime would know. Since he's the only one who saw that video. So just as I thought, it comes down to that. The mystery surrounding this incident is contained in that video. And whether or not we can reach that hidden truth is all up to me. 
It's all up to us, buddy. Hajime, I leave it in your hands. They're like, they're like, this is all on you, buddy. You're the one who has to decide our fate. As long as I leave this to you, I won't tell you to do your best, but oh well. You should get started already. There's a, there's like a, I have ice in this water, but it's all stuck at the bottom because it froze together into like one giant lump. So, as it melts, it'll <laughs> be. Yeah, I'll definitely try. All right. If there's some hidden clue in that video, it should have seen something as strange as I watched it. Uh, I'm the only one who actually saw that video, so I'm the only one who can do it. The hanging video that I saw. Based on everything we know from the arguments thus far, I should be able to figure out what's strange. For instance, there wasn't a, there was a certain item present when we investigated the crime scene that wasn't in the video. What the hell am I supposed to spot here? What? Oh, step ladder. Here. I'm a dumbass. There was definitely something strange about that video. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. Can you explain it to us? What's strange is that step ladder I mentioned earlier. It's true that the steps of that step ladder weren't dirty, but on one side, there was a blood stain right on the left side of the step ladder. However, that contradicts the video I saw at the hospital. There weren't any bloodstains on the stepladder in the video. It was completely clean. That is truly strange. If the video showed the moment of Ibuku's death, then Miyoko should have already been dead by that point. That's, that's true. Even so, the fact is the stepladder had blood on it at the actual crime scene. Step ladder in the video is completely bloodless. And there's no way the video was recorded in advance. If that's the case, the only thing I can think of is. It's possible those two step ladders were completely different. I mean, there were two step ladders in the storage or in the staff room or in the storage room at the bar. And. They were gone when we examined it during the investigation, so... Wait, are you saying there were two step ladders? Yeah! But where would you find another step ladder? There was only one step ladder in the music venue. Then one of the step ladders was somewhere other than the music venue. <laughs> what do you mean? You're suggesting that the step ladder in the video isn't the only thing that's different. Am I right? That's amazing, Chiaki! All that gaming has given you incredible deduction skills! Is it okay to say that? I mean, gaming does need a lot of deduction, I guess. Depending on what kind of game you're playing. Uh, what are you two talking about? <laughs> She's confused. She's like, huh? The stepladder isn't the only thing that's different, huh? Chiaki said that the stepladder was at a different place, but if so, doesn't that mean the video I saw is completely wrong? Which means the thing that's different between that video and the actual scene of the crime does it mean the killer used that surveillance camera unit to do something at that place? Okay, it's the conference room. It's a hangman's gambit. We're gonna get this right, though. We got conference room. Oh god, wait a minute. Huh? Oh, filming location. Never mind. I thought it was conference room. <laughs> We're doing filming location. Okay, so we need an F. Hello. Oh, God. 
what the hell is I? It yes, it is. I is the next. What the hell was that? We're we're doing it. moving so fast now what the hell I need an N oh my god why are they moving so fast what the fuck I need an I need an L Oh god. I hate this. I hate this. What the hell? Oh my god. Why? G good lord. I don't like this game at all. Where is the N? I need an N! No! God damn it! God, God damn it! We do thing! We do thing! That's right. Besides the step ladder, the filming location must have been different too. That's way too much. What do you mean? I mean the video I saw was not filmed at the music venue. It was filmed somewhere else. There we go. But the I, hospital monitor is and supposed the... to display footage captured by the music venue camera, you know? Then there's a possibility that the killer also tampered with the surveillance. I don't think they unit. tampered with it. I don't think they tampered with it. Okay, the monitor and camera are part of the surveillance and the video, blah blah blah. Here is a oh god. Hello. Oh oh god, here we go. <laughs> Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. <gasps> fuck me. <laughs> uh, which part of the surveillance camera unit did the ca uh, the, the camera? The camera. Okay, I, I feel like that was right because, oh god, oh my god. better on the fucking Vita. I, I don't like this on, on the computer. Okay, I got a checkpoint there. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Fuck me. It, oh god. Fuck me in the ass. Please don't die, please! This is 
the worst. I used to be so good at this game. Did the killer tamper with the camera music at the music venue or the hospital? The music venue. This is like driving, but worse. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell? Oh my god. What the hell? God damn it. Okay, don't go so fast, Kate. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Okay. Question three. What did the killer do with the camera from the music- Uh, They took it with them. They took it with them. Motherfucker. You can just see me hunch up. I'm like, oh! Oh god. Oh, I got this one wrong! Together. Or maybe I didn't. I don't know. That's it. The killer just brought the camera from the music venue. Okay. With it, they made me think it was a live feed from the venue when it was actually from somewhere else. And only the monitor was left in the music venue? Yes, at least when I first discovered Ibuki's body. But when Gyoko's body appeared, the killer probably put the camera back too. Fair. That means you should have realized that from the start and made this easier on all of us. How would he know though? He did discover the body. I doubt his attention was focused on the camera. Y exactly! That's true. In order to hide that the camera was missing, the killer did one more thing to the remaining monitor. Destroyed it. Let's see. The killer smashed the monitor to pieces, destroying it. As long as it was in pieces, you wouldn't be able to tell if the camera was actually there or not. Accurate. My attention was so focused on the body that even I couldn't have noticed something like that. And the moment Hajime left the music venue, the killer put back the camera they took. And they destroyed it and left that in pieces as well. It's easy to say it was filmed somewhere else, but the surveillance camera's connection wasn't that strong. Despite Kazuichi's desperate repair efforts, it seems it could not transmit from the hospital to the motel. Yeah. The fact that it was able to connect between the hospital and the music venue is amazing enough. Yeah. Which means even if it was filmed in another place, as long as it was transmitting to the hospital, the range would be pretty me pretty limited. If that's the case, where did the vi video film to make it was the conference room? Okay. I think we're doing another. We're doing. Yeah. Fuck. All right. Conference room. We need a C. Are you a C? Are you a C? You are. Now we need an F. I'm gonna assume you're an F. We need an R. I'm gonna assume you're an O. No, you're an O. We 
We need an R. Can some- can you- can you give me an R? Maybe it's E. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. Way too long. I don't know how to spell conference, apparently. Possible that it was filmed at the hospital's conference room. It sure was. Huh? Conference room? Whew. But the hospital and the music venue look completely different. Not not necessarily. Not necessarily. That's exactly why the killer did something to make those two places resemble each other. To make the conference room look more like the be music venue, the killer went ahead and did some work. I've got to make it clear what that work was. It was the curtains. There's no way the conference room. And the music menu looked the same. Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Or did the music venue look like the conference room? Or did they make some kind of set? No, that's wrong. I'm a dumbass. Alright. Damn it! Okay, it's okay. We're good. There's no way to conference room. And the music menu looks the same. Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Or did the music venue look like the conference room? Or did they make some kind of set? Or they might have tampered with the camera. I still can't believe he mixed up the filming locations. Hajime, you're pretty stupid. I mean, I can disagree with that. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's because the look like the comp. Okay, yeah. I was right. I was right, but I didn't do it. That's fine. It's fine. There's no way the conference room and the music menu look the same. Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? No? Oh, god damn it. What is what the hell am I supposed to do here? Oh, okay. I, I did it wrong. Again. Alright. Fuck, we're gonna we're gonna fail this There's one. No way the conference room. And the music venue looked the same. Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Or did the music venue look like the conference room? That must be it! Wow. That took all... That took way too much what time. Did was, I'm a dumbass. Make the music venue, the crime scene, look like the conference room. They did that by using the black curtain hanging at the back of the stage. Ah! Oh. What I remember... There used to be a really flashy curtain, but after the incident, it's 
somehow became a plain black curtain that didn't seem to be the right size. That's right! It's so half-assed, just like Monami. Oh, yeah? Well, your face looks stupid. <laughs> that curtain was hung so the music venue would look like a conference room? Yeah. In actuality, even though the curtain in the conference room doesn't stand out, it is a black light blocking curtain that's long enough to reach the floor. I see. The conference room. Indeed, the floor of that room is... The same. the same color as the music venue stage. That's very true. So the killer chose the conference room because they realized the floor match. Ah. Matching floors, matching curtains. I guess it makes sense you'd mistake the two. But that's not all. There should be something else the killer did to tamper with the evidence. Probably. Something else the killer did to make the music venue look like the conference room. That's it, the reason the killer used that in the video. Oh, I don't even know what we're supposed to be doing. Oh, right. The candle. Woo! I can prove it with this. You're referring to the candle in the music venue, right? Yes. In the video I saw, a candle was used for lighting. But if you think about it, that's pretty strange. I mean, it's a music venue. Why wouldn't you use the music venue's lighting? The music venue has good lighting, so there's no reason to even use candlelight. But wouldn't they have done it to make it feel creepier? That might have been another reason, but the main reason was probably to tamper with evidence. The lighting in the conference room and the music venue were so different. They couldn't be used during filming. That's why the killer used a candle with film lighting instead. Which means... Are you saying the candle in the music venue wasn't actually used? No, I don't think so. That candle was likely placed there just to make me think it was the same candle that was used in the video. With candlelight, you can't see things in that much detail. Maybe they were going for that effect. With that cheap-ass camera, it won't capture much in a dark area. True. As long as this all matches up, it should be no problem to say this is the site. The video I saw wasn't filmed at the music venue. It was actually filmed at the hospital conference room. <sighs> so now you must know who... who... who probably did this. <laughs> If I'd found proof that evidence in the conference room was altered, we would have reached an answer sooner. But it appears the killer already covered that up, so I didn't find anything when I went there. But there's no mistake. That's the only place within the connection range of the surveillance camera. The motel would have been too far, and the interior design of the movie theater is too distinctive. But this must be a surprising turn of events for Hajime. You never suspected that the video you saw in the hospital was being filmed in the conference room. The incident isn't happening at the scene of a crime. It's occurring in the conference room. I feel like I've heard Bayside Cop say that before, but it, isn't that... isn't it the other way around? Um, if Ibuki's hanging video was filmed at the hospital's conference room, then was Ibuki killed at the conference room, too? No. No, that's not possible. Right after Hajime saw that video, he discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue. That video was filmed at the conference room, but Ibuki's body was at the music venue. Which means there was a fake somewhere. That fake must have been... I see! The person oh, wearing the hint bag in that video wasn't Ibuki. It was the killer pretending to be Ibuki. It sure was. The killer put on a hospital gown, wore a hint bag on their head, and was only pretending to be the victim. By that time, the real Ibuki must have already been killed. 
She sure was! The actual time of death must have been earlier. Probably around midnight or dawn to avoid witnesses. If they took Ibuki from the music venue to the hospital to kill her, there's no way it happened during the day. So that's what happened. Then no matter how quickly I ran, it was impossible for me to rescue Ibuki. That moment, I was already in the killer's trap. And the one who set the trap for me was... But why did the killer go to the trouble of making a fake video just so Hajime could go to the crime scene? The reason the killer made a fake video... There's only one possibility I can think of. If I examine that possibility thoroughly, then naturally the killer's identity will reveal itself. You feed! Are you saying you already know who the killer is? That's right. I should already know. I should have already known who the killer is. I'm not ready for this! I'm really not ready for this! Killer, aren't you? I can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love her so much, and this kills me. This is oh! <laughs> when I when I first played this. Like I said, aren't you the killer who murdered Ibuki and Hyoka? I'm trying not to cry. Probably kill her first. She's just right. A, a clumsy slowpoke like me killing someone—that's completely out of the question. But we're the only ones. Thanks to that video, we're the only ones who have the advantage of an alibi. An alibi? Was that the killer's goal? Now that you mention it, you guys brought that up early. Only Hajime and me can. It's just a coincidence! But you're the only one who could have filmed that video in the hospital conference room. Is that also a coincidence? Shouldn't you get some rest already? You should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep, right? Then, if you insist, I'll use the on-call room upstairs. You must be mentally exhausted, so it's better if you relax in the lobby instead. At that time, you said you were going to the on-call room, but you actually went to the conference room. That's when you put on a hospital gown that you prepared in advance, put the bag on your head, and began filming. By doing that, you made up a video that showed Ibuki trying to hang herself at the music video. You showed that to me. Furthermore, I saw that video at the hospital lobby. If someone wants to go to the conference room from outside, they have to pass through the lobby. So it's impossible that someone who wasn't already in the hospital went to the conference room to film. Not only that, 
The others in the hospital, Kane and I, were both delirious from the despair disease. Very true. So that must mean... Please, wait a second. Oh, God. It's not literally impossible. Can't you give a better defense than that? Shut the fuck up! Just show she can't even do that. Hey, you sure this chick is really the killer? Wrong! It's totally wrong! It's not what you think! Just like Akane said, it is really hard to tie it all together. I mean, Mikan is the killer? I agree. It is truly difficult to believe someone could be killed by such a slow-witted woman. Why did you have to put emphasis on the word woman, Gundam? What, women can't kill? Get out of here with your sexist ass. That slow-witted remark is not necessary. Thank you, Sonya. She's not slow-witted. <laughs> Hajime? Do you still believe this woman is the killer? Mm, do you hate me that much, Hajime? This hurts so much. Like, this hurts so bad. Hey, Hajime! Um... Everyone's ganging up on me. <laughs> Tricks aside, logic aside, is she really capable of doing something like this? Could it be I'm the one making a mistake? No, in fact, it'd be so much easier if I was wrong. If I have this much doubt in someone I've spent so much time with... Oh... Even Hajime has doubts, he's like, bruh! <laughs> She's so innocent, what the fuck? Why would she... <sighs> Can you hold on a minute? Oh. Huh? Well, I know I'm being intrusive and all, and I mean, I have no place to say this. I missed all of the critical parts, and I doubt I have anything worth saying at an important time like this. What are you saying? But still, there's definitely no way I can overlook the kill this time. Huh? I thought it was suspicious all along, from the very beginning. Investigating with the suspect in mind creates a different result than investigating with no leads. Hey, what are you trying to say? Yeah, what is he trying to say? What the? Well, thanks to that, I was able to discover a truth that nobody else knows. Are you serious? I've been so focused on everybody else in this trial. But I guess now's a good time to say it, right? You better not have kept quiet on purpose. This isn't a game, you know. Actually, this is a game! <laughs> Please don't say such controversial statements! God, this hurts so bad. What do you know, Magica? Well, it's nothing big, really. Only a small, decisive clue that points to the killer. Dang! That's a huge deal! A decisive clue? Does something like that really exist? Let's take a look, shall we? Regarding the rope Ibuki was dangling from. 
This rope was supplied by the supermarket, right? There weren't any ropes inside the music venue. Again with the supermarket? That place is a hot spot for criminal goods. <laughs> I mean, true. If they got it at the supermarket, that means it was brand new, right? What's wrong with that? I want you to take a close look at this rope. And keep in mind that it's brand new. Near the middle of the rope, it's frayed, as if it was rubbed strongly. But why is it like this? The loopy booky used to hang herself is on one end of the rope, and the part of the rope that hung from the baton lighting is on the other end. Hmm. Hey, you're taking too long. What's wrong with the rope being frayed? It means, well, from what I can infer, I think the rope was used like this. The killer wrapped the rope around Ibuki's neck, pulled both ends at full strength, and strangled him. The center of the rope is frayed because that's the part they used to strangle Ibuki. Darn, I've been listening to you for a while, and it sounds like you knew about this rope clue all along. I mean, yeah, that would have been a lot better if you said that a little earlier, Nagito. What exactly did you say to me during the investigation? So this ro rope won't be much of a clue. And I might as well search another place. Not everyone cooperates at a class trial. Those who lie and conceal the truth will obviously be here too. Just like this case is killer. I was just copying them a little bit. Huh? More importantly, what was all that about the rope? The killer strangled Ibuki. And then... And then... I finished speaking. Huh? How is that a decisive clue? Huh? You didn't notice it. I thought I made the decisive clue very clear. Nagito's words contain a decisive clue. Is that really true? Yep. Okay, hold on. Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave would look different, too. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? Yes. But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? That must be it! All right. So that's what happened. We've been falling for the killer's lie this whole time. Something I want to ask you. There is no doubt Ibuki's cause of death was being hanged by this rope, right? Yes, she had no other external injuries, so there's no doubt she died from hanging herself. I see, I see. So Ibuki died by hanging herself. You said Ibuki hanged herself, but that was a complete lie, wasn't it, Mikan? God! And she would have known the difference between the two types of strangulation marks. You told us the wrong cause of death. You lied, didn't you? <laughs> you should have been able to tell the difference between hanging and strangling just by looking. You, Mikon, the ultimate nurse. have a lot of experience with injuries yourself. That's why it's not my fault if I made a mistake. <sighs> you, you were right. And you have been a great help to us so far. 
But even a drunk medical student can notice the difference between a hanging and strangulation. <sighs> I'm not taking her side or anything, but being clumsy and unskilled in this area could lead to a mistake. He's totally right! <laughs> uh, I'm such a clumsy mess, and I got so careless! Mikan nursed me till I got better. There's no way I'm gonna doubt her. I love this trial because everybody is on her side till the very end. Don't you think her devotion to nursing is what helped her draw Ibuki to her death? Huh? And if not, her symptoms were still very serious and caused her to believe what anybody told her. It wouldn't surprise me if she willingly followed Mikan because she was nursing her. So Mikon volunteered to nurse us? Because she was planning to do this all along? That's a little... Aren't you like the thief who suspects everyone else of being thieves? I'm not a criminal. Mikon is. I mean, she's a killer, you know. You've got it all wrong. Please forgive me. I'm sorry, but there's no way I can forgive you. And this is why I hate you. <laughs> I mean, I love his character, but at the same time, shut up! I hate you! I just can't forgive this crime at all. Um, forgiveness or not, we still have not decided if Mikan is the killer. <sighs> hmm, I see. You guys are kind. Well, if that's the choice everyone makes... The only thing I can do is back off, I guess. But is that really okay? Is that everyone's hope? You're friggin' annoying! If you keep talking, I'm seriously gonna beat you up! <laughs> I'm really, really not the killer! There's no way! I'm capable of killing someone! That really true. God damn it! Stop it already! That's enough! I can't stop. I don't want to do this either. Of course I don't want to do this. But I need to do this. You, you doubt your friends? That's not it. I suspect them because I want to believe them. Well, what the hell does that mean? Um, I don't think belief and doubt are necessarily opposites. Huh? I do doubt her, but I still want to believe her. Belief lies at the heart of that conflict. Because if there's no room for doubt, then there's no reason to believe, is there? D don't say deep stuff. I don't really get it. It's because it's cause you're, you're kind of dumb. But don't worry, we still love you. If you want to believe in someone, you need to overcome doubt first. Belief without doubt is simply a lie. Fine. Do whatever you want. I won't stop you anymore. I love that. Akane was like, no! I'm gonna- I'm gonna defend her to the end! you can say oh, yes! here we go I love her so much and this is why <sighs> so in the end you're all just a bunch of bullies huh justifying your actions with fancy words making excuses for why it's not really your fault Everyone always treats me like that. <laughs> always. <laughs> it's all her fault. She's the one with the problem. <laughs> I'm done with that. You hear me? I'm done. Hey, Nico. Hey, it's not. Not fair, 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 not fair! Why won't you 
forgive me. You'd forgive yourself right away! What did I do? Why won't anybody forgive me? Is acting like this your strategy now? This is annoying. Plus, to be honest, we've run out of ideas. How can we get you to it? That's the issue. If we don't have any clues, why don't we have her give us some? One of us murdered two of our friends. That's why we gotta stick with this until the very end. So we can finally break these chains of despair. <sighs> hey, Mikan. Can I ask you one last thing? If you're not the killer, then who fabricated that video Hajime watch? <laughs> like I said, it obviously wasn't. Can we prove it? Prove it? Wait! Do you have any proof that I'm the one who fabricated that video? God! <laughs> That's right! Show me your proof! <laughs> because we're just assuming the video was filmed at the conference room. It's treating me like a killer based on an assumption. Is this broad really okay? She's emotionally unstable. We've known about that from the beginning. <laughs> I'm not the killer. Video. I never filmed the video. It seems she finally started arguing for us. But the only one who can find a hole in her argument is you, Hajime. So. I'm going to leave this to you once again. This was Chiaki's goal all along. Alright. She's saying everyone's fate depends on me, the only person who saw that video. Why do you get to decide I'm the killer? Where's your proof? Please, forgive me already! I need to make up my mind. I'm the one who has to do it. It's so sad because he doesn't want to do it. It's so obvious. <sighs> All right. I gotta figure out. God, what the heck? I'm not the killer. We can't think of anybody else. Wait a minute. Know. Hold on. I'm I'm checking the guide for this. Okay, okay, I have to absorb a bullet. Who could have filmed that video? Do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type! So please forgive me already! Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. I know what I must do, but I don't think I have the, the strength to do it. <laughs> I'm not the killer! We can't think of anybody else other than you. Who could have filmed that video. Do you have any proof? 
Does the hunt bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? I'll shoot through that contradiction. How did she know about the camera angle? Mikan, you've committed a major mistake. <laughs> mistake? As I said before many times, I'm the only one who saw that video. What's wrong with that? But I never said anything about the camera angle. So how can you say anything about the camera angle as if you saw that video yourself? Oh, there's a spider. Get off of there, spider. God. I didn't scream at the spider. That's exciting. <coughs> the only reason me can the camera angle Hajime can see is because you're the person who actually filmed that video. Is that right? Mm -hmm. This is your just reward. The more desperately you argue, the deeper you dig yourself into a hole. Alrighty. You lied, didn't you? <laughs> Even Akane is like, fuck. <laughs> I stood up for this bitch. <laughs> You serious? Is it true, Mikan? Did you... Did you kill Hiyoko and Ibuki? That's not it? I mean, it's impossible. God, she's so creepy. It's. It, mm, I love it, but I, at the same time, I'm so upset. Impossible? You know that hemp bag Ibuki was wearing when she died? Try remembering the tote bag instead. Ding! I totally remember now. What the heck's wrong with her? She's getting weirder by the minute. That tote bag. Isn't it the same one that girl was wearing in the video? Yes. How do you know so much about that video? <laughs> Who cares about that? God. More importantly, <sighs> did you know that bag is a limited item that was sold at the movie theater? Hajime saw it too, didn't you? You remember the Usami decal on it, right? Whoopsie! Don't worry about it. I remember even if you don't. Ta-da! There's no mistake that that tote bag is a limited item. So don't you think it's impossible? Using one tote bag in both the conference room and the music venue at the same time? It's blatantly obvious that that's impossible. Don't you think? That's why that video isn't fabricated. And I'm not the killer. Except it was a buy one get one free limited item. So you'll forgive me, right? Taking your stubbornness this far. Such despair. Then you're gonna forgive me? I won't stop until you forgive me! Long time no see! Well, not really. It's time for the third panic talk action. This is probably going to be my last job during the class trial. <laughs> Please humor me while I taint your ears one last time. Starting from this PTA, the reload and ammo features will be added. 
you will no longer be able to make do with just the left mouse button. Below the temporal marker in the lower portion of the screen, the number of bullets are displayed. From this point on, you'll need one bullet to destroy one remark. When you're out of bullets, you won't be able to destroy the remarks, no matter how much you mash the left mouse, mouse button. Uh, you will be able to refresh your bullets by pressing the tab key to reload. Just like locking on, press the tab key in time with the tempo marker. The controls are the same as the left mouse button. Match the tempo marker either by pressing the tab key. The number of bullets refreshed is based on how well you kept the tempo. If you get the timing wrong when you press the tab key, bullets will not be refreshed, so please be careful. Also, your ammo will be completely refreshed and will not run out during fever time. If your difficulty level is set to gentle, you do not need to reload. Woo! I'm a dumbass! So I set it to gentle! I guess this was pretty useless explanation, even though it was the last one. That should be all the explanations for the class trials. The rest is up for you to uh, overcome. You should be able to find it beyond this point. What you and I both yearn for. True despair. Well then, good luck and have fun! Alright. <laughs> Has she lost it for good? Yes. Will you forgive me? You'll forgive me, right? Isn't that right? You're obviously gonna forgive me, right? This rate, we're not getting anywhere. I gotta do something and end this. I gotta do something so I can make her admit it. I don't remember how to do this. Terrible at this. Can you forgive me already? You still haven't forgiven me! Forgive me! Forgive me! Please draw on me! You are done for! Can you forgive me already? I'll do anything you want! Can you forgive me already? I'll do anything you want! I don't remember how. I don't even know. Me. I'm just. This early. I'm so sad. When you buy one bag, you get another one free. It's a common practice to bait customers with bonus prizes. Whoever bought that bag should have received another one as a bonus prize. Which means it's not impossible to use that bag in two separate places. So please, just stop making desperate excuses. <laughs> Desperate struggle is finally coming to an end. Why does everybody always hate me? You should just forget me already! Nikon, it's already over. No! <laughs> After I go over your crime from the beginning and show that you have no arguments left, please just admit it already. In the end, at least let me believe in you. All right, so. No. Oh, 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 God, oh, God. Okay. Uh, what did the killer do after the broadcast? I would assume 
nuts, right? Which means this would be great. Okay. No, that's wrong. Okay. These are right. Everything that happened in this case. That was very the short. Key to this incident is the surveillance camera video that only I saw. That's why I'm going to start with that to unravel the knots of this crime. When I went to the hospital with Nikon this morning, I noticed a specific thing in the lobby. The incoming signal light on the surveillance monitor was blinking ahead of the scheduled time. When I switched on the monitor, what appeared on screen was a person wearing a hospital gown and a bag on their head about to hang themselves right at that moment. That surveillance camera unit was designed for two-way communication with the hospital and the music unit. That's why I thought the signal originated from the music unit, so I immediately headed over there. But that was the killer's trap. In truth, that video was recorded in a different place. The killer brought the music venue camera the night before and made their preparations in advance. <sighs> then, they filmed that video in the hospital conference room. By doing so, they tried to make me think the incident was happening in real time. When in fact, the crime had already been committed by that point. The person in the footage wearing the bag was actually the killer acting as a fake. I didn't know that, so I went to the music video and found the hanged body wearing a bag on its head. Seeing the body before me, I panicked and rushed out of there to get the rest of you guys. God damn it. But that was also part of the killer's trap. After cleaning the conference room, the killer was likely watching the music video from outside. And as if they were switching places with me, they went inside the music video and began working on their last trick. First, the killer peeled off the wallpaper covering one of the stage pillars, revealing Kyoko's body. When I first arrived and saw the hanged body, I didn't notice anything strange about that pillar. I didn't expect it to be slightly larger from the wallpaper, or have Hyoko's body hidden inside. Next, the killer destroyed the surveillance camera that was used in the conference room. After destroying it, they mixed it with what was left of the surveillance monitor found at the crime scene. The surveillance camera the killer used was originally brought from the music video, but when they brought it, they made sure to destroy its monitor beforehand. They wanted to hide the fact that the camera wasn't at the crime scene. In the end, the killer transformed the crime scene into a closed room. They broke one of the drumsticks from the storage room and placed it near the music venue's entrance. However, they did this to mislead us into believing that the music venue was locked from the inside. In actuality, the reason the music venue became a closed room was because of the glue. The killer sealed the door with glue and intentionally created a closed room that could be forced open. With that, the killer finished tampering with the crime scene and met up with Fuyuhiko. They helped us force open the music venue door despite the fact that they personally sealed it. God damn it. They made us discover not just Ibuki's body, but Hyoko's suddenly present body as well. At the time, they pretended to be surprised, but 
Inside, they were probably relieved that their plan worked out. Isn't that right, Mikan? This crime was orchestrated by you, wasn't it? No! Overall, B. It seems your arguments have reached a conclusion. So let's proceed to our regularly scheduled voting time. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Here we go. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Let's go. This is sad. This is very sad. I'm, I can't believe I'm not crying because when I first played this, I sobbed. I was like, no! Well, now. Now then, though it may be obvious at this point, Correct. you got it right once again. That's like three times in a row! That's right, the true identity of the horrifying blackened who killed two girls was Mikan Sumiki. Damn it. You gotta be shitting me. Are you saying Mikan, the one who nursed us back to health, was the one who killed them? I won't forgive you. Don't joke around with me, Mikan. Did you lie to us all along? Were you planning to kill them from the start while you were nursing them? <laughs> Don't just laugh! Say something! This is going nowhere! <laughs> What's going on? This chick! Hey, hey! This is nothing like Pekko. She's actually gone mental. Oh, that's there's, obvious. there's nothing we can do. She's no longer the same person. She's no longer the Mikan Sumiki we knew. Huh? Hey. Based on my predictions, she may might have caught it too. She probably had the despair disease, which was the motive for this case. What? Mikan too, you say? I I know because I was looking at Mikan for so long. She was the one taking care of me, after all. My consciousness kept drift drifting, but even so, when I did catch a glimpse of her, her expression was... <sighs> full of despair. Why, is, why am I itchy? I don't know why I'm itchy. Uh, uh, hold on, did you say Mikan also had the despair disease? Then that means she was... What? Huh? Hajime? Has something crossed your mind? My body's heavy. <laughs> no, not just heavy, it's somewhat soft and really hot. It's because she was- she had a fever as well. That's right, Mikan felt really hot at that time. Now that I think about it, that must have been a high fever, just like what Ibuki and Akane and- had. It cannot be! Then because of that disease, Mikan was- Perhaps? The symptoms that she surely felt must have been deserving of the name, Despair Disease. Losing all hope and harboring despair for all hope. 
because of the despair disease, she was likely overcome with despair. See? That's the reason why she can't can still laugh in such a hopeless situation. <laughs> Jeez. Which means the Mekon standing before us is no longer the ultimate dis uh, the ultimate nurse. I was gonna say ultimate despair. I'm like, no, that's not right. She's a completely different person now that she's infected by the despair disease. Isn't that right? She's a human who deserves to be called the ultimate despair. Ultimate despair? <laughs> I... That's the reason why I cannot forgive this. I mean, killing someone for the sake of despair instead of for the sake of hope? Possible. There's no way I can forgive that. Oh? For the sake of despair? <sighs> That's completely wrong. Huh? Wrong? Wrong? What's wrong? What I did was for the sake of my beloved. No! Huh? Huh? Who are you talking about? <laughs> if only they were still alive, they'd be so happy. I know. was the only one. That's right. The only one who... never hated me. They forgave my existence. They forgave me and accepted me. They gave me value. That's not true because we did! <laughs> they loved me. I loved them with all my heart and they returned it in full. This is my reciprocation. <laughs> I understand that I've done something unforgivable. But you know, but you know, to transcend all that is truly it's love. what love is all about. Hey. I don't understand. What are you saying? Get ready! Get ready, cause Mikon! She commits three murders! <laughs> you don't understand? Is it because you don't have anyone to love? Oh! oh burn, motherfucker! Is it because you're also someone who is, isn't accepted by anyone? Oh, she fucking murdered him! What a pity. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> Get fucked! Even if I say this, I'm sure nobody here would understand, but love is a wonderful thing. This feeling of freedom where you no longer care about anything. My beloved and I are the only ones within that thin veil, and I'm just looking out through it. That's why, as long as I'm on the inside, no matter how much they tease me, splash me with water, kick me, it's like nothing matters. I could just die, that's how little it matters. Who cares about hope or despair? It's love, only love. Could it be? Nagito, is this really the despair disease you were talking about? This is. It seems that I was wrong. Not only was she infected by despair. <sighs> you were half right. It's right to say that this was all thanks to that disease. Because thanks to that disease, I was able to re rem remember my beloved. Remember? Apparently that's what my symptom was. <laughs> what a wonderful symptom. Which means you had the remembering disease? What? But if this means she remembered something and ended up like this... Such despair. Are you saying you were like this from the start? Were you like this e before you even came to this island? <laughs> don't get so angry. Well, first of all, <laughs> the reason I became like this wasn't my fault. It was all your fault, you know? Because it's not like I'm entirely responsible for turning out like this. I'm the person I am today because of many human relationships. So it's everybody's fault that I turned out like this, you see? <laughs> Even so, the current me was not- was most strongly affected- influenced by my beloved's existence. 
And it was also my beloved who created the me that everyone can't forgive. But my beloved still forgives me and still accepts me. That is the key difference between all of you and my beloved. Don't fuck with me! Like I said, who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> are you saying this is Mikon? She's the real Mikon? Mikon, please answer me. Do you really remember? You ended up like this all because you remembered? There's no way I can believe that. There's no way the person you are right now is the real Mikon. <laughs> oh, you still doubt me? Then to prove I, prove I remember, I'll tell you all something nice. <laughs> it's about that World Ender organization that you all were worrying about. You serious? Y you know? <laughs> Not no, I just remembered, that's all. I knew about it all along, how that horrifying organization known as World Ender is also the organization known as the Future Foundation. Oh! Oh, thanks? Um, okay! Future Foundation? Future? That's right, that symbol on the ancient ruins door. That's right. It was the Japanese word for future. Mirai. Just, what is this future foundation? What are they planning? As the name suggests, that organization is the World Ender. The Future Foundation is trying to end our world. To put it simply, they're tra trying to claim the world for themselves. This is bad. What the heck? This isn't a comic book, you know. <laughs> As part of their plan to end the world, the Future Foundation brought us to this island. Hmm. Isn't that right, Monami? I knew it. You. Monami, Monokuma, they're both members of that crazy organization, aren't they? <laughs> Monami and I aren't members. I am Monokuma! My existence is entirely my own. <laughs> Aww, she's so cute when she, <gasps> she mimicked him! That's so cute! Hey. Don't laugh. Hey, Mikon, if you really do remember... Then you already know, right? You know the true identity of the traitor hiding among us. Among us. <laughs> <laughs> of course I know that. Let's see, the future foundation lackey that's hiding among you all is... Oh, well, no one really cares about that, don't you think? Of course not! Oh, hell no! <laughs> You'll find out eventually, so there's no need to be so impatient. Probably when that countdown ends. Countdown? You, you even know about that? Oh? I don't know anything. Huh? I have a feeling that's what it is, but who cares about that, you know? <laughs> I'm drowning in so much love from the bottom of my heart, I just don't care about anyone or anything. That is... M Mikon, is that really you? I won't believe it. There's no way I can believe you were all like this, you were like this all along. Because if that's true, then who's the person we've been spending time with up until now? Hmm. The past. Past? That person, she didn't exist in the beginning. She's just my past self who lost her school memories. <laughs> you guys considered that thing a friend. Oh? That doesn't make me happy at all. It just fills me with despair. You guys accepted my past self, but not my present self. That's... Well... Well, that applies to you as well. Memories of people, memories of events, whatever memory it is, losing memories are... Do you understand? Like losing your personal identity. Memory is the most important component in, a, in building a person, don't you think? Losing our memories makes us shadows of the past. Don't you think? Hey. I don't know what you're trying to say, but... In the end, it always leads back to that story. That story about the stolen school lives. Hey, hey. So, it was true all along. Our memories were taken away. Damn it! If it wasn't true, we wouldn't be suffering this much. <sighs> well, why don't you just take your sweet time and remember at your own pace? 
Oh, Monokuma, is it all right for you to start now? Yes, indeed. Punishment time? Damn it, why? Mikan, why does it have to end like this? This is too pointless. This is too much. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment. For the ultimate nurse, Mikan Sumiki. So it's over. Oh, no. Mitsuya. Now I can go to my beloved, who always forgives me. Who the fuck is your beloved, though? I can finally see them. Please forgive me, the one who's going to die with the hope of finally seeing you. Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Well, here we go. in the chat, my boys. Let's pay our respects <laughs> to the best girl. <sighs> it's finished. Is it really finished? The killer who killed Ibuki Miyota and Hiyoko Seonji was Mik Mikan Sumiki. And she's been executed. She apparently committed her crime because she was afflicted by the despair disease. So what? What's well, finished? Nobody wanted it to end this way. Let me ask. Who is that Nikon from earlier? Is that her true form? Or is that a sim itself a symptom of the despair disease? Dude. Doesn't matter either way. If she ended up like that just from remembering, then all along Nikon was never worth being a symbol of hope. Even if her words were influenced by despair, the despair disease, if the disease turned her into that, if she lost herself to a simple disease, she was definitely unworthy of being a symbol of hope. Isn't that right? So, let's just move on. <laughs> Come on, let's take all this despair and change it into hope. Please wait! That's impossible. I mean, I thought we were friends this whole time, but even so... Like a house of cards collapsing in an instant. In the end, our friend thought we knew ended- or our, fr our friend we thought we knew ended up showing us a completely different side of herself. Then she vanished from our sight, leaving behind only her malice towards us. And now there's no way we can just move on or try to have a clear-cut attitude about these feelings. That's clearly impossible. Damn it! It would have been so much easier if she was the traitor, too. Wrong! Too bad, that's not the case. Mikan was not the traitor. Come on! The traitor is still alive. As proof, see how fine Monami looks right now. <sighs> I'm not fine at all! Hmm? But if the traitor died, you wouldn't be this calm, right? I mean, you're both pawns of the future foundation. You guys, these are like two hearts beating as one, right? You fiend. What does that make you, fiend? Did You did say that you're different from Monami. Phew. Who cares who I am? More important, I'm tired. The drama just kept going and going. I didn't even have a time to eat my black bean right eye during the break. What? Hey. Your right eye is made out of black beans? Hey, hey. Wait, now's not the time to focus on that. What are you trying to say? Hey, um... You know, isn't it said that life has its ups and downs? It's fun because downs come after ups, but if life was full of downs, wouldn't it get boring? 
<laughs> so, in order to help you guys feel better, I've prepared a special event. Special event. <laughs> Head over to the first island's beach. An old friend will be waiting there. Old friend? Huh? Could it be? Nekumaru? <laughs> is it? It is, isn't it? Nekumaru's safe after all? Hmm. Um, safe? How should I say this? Hmm. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that crazy bastard Nekumaru would come back to us in one piece. <laughs> awesome! We're starting to see the light of hope. Um... The light of hope? Our friend just died! <laughs> we had three friends just die, and, and you guys are like, Yeah, let's forget about that. Let's just go see Nekumaru now. Um, I'm happy Nekumaru is returning to us, but... But I... So just as I thought. Three of our friends just died, so I honestly cannot be happy. Thanks, Sonya! At least one of us has, like, the logic here to be a little, you know, respectful of the dead. Hmm. Miss Sonya... However, However uh, even so, I'm still happy. If Nekomaru is safe, I'm truly happy. Sorry. If you are happy, you should honestly greet him with open arms. Perhaps those who have been taken from us would do the same if they still lived. Huh. Hey, Supreme Overlord of Who Gives a Shit, that line doesn't suit you at all. <laughs> I shall crush you into dust. Aww, <laughs> he has a heart. Um, Ibuki Hyoko... Mikon, can you hear us? If you are unhappy, I apologize. However, please forgive me for right now. I want to warmly welcome Nekumaru when he returns to us. You don't have to worry, Sonya. I'm sure your feelings are reaching them. Right? Then let's all go greet Nekumaru. Let's make it a grand... Make it grand, even for those who have died. <laughs> Aww. Akane is so... <laughs> she's so happy she's crying! Huh? What the heck? Do I still have the after effects of that disease? I don't get this at all. Uh, Akane. Alright! Alrighty then, let's go! Yeah, you're right. Hakumaru's coming back. When we heard that, we were unable to contain our excitement as we jumped into the elevator. Uh -oh. Man, they just ran off without listening to what I had to say. Jeez, they're so impatient. They, didn't they learn to stick around until others have finished talking? Um... What does that mean? Hey! <gasps> you, you're plotting something again, aren't you? No way! <laughs> I'm not plotting anything. I was just trying to properly explain everything to them. Including Nekumaru's body. Hmm? Huh? Nekumaru's body? <laughs> it's their fault for not sticking around until I finish talking. <laughs> So if something happens because of that, I bear no responsibility. Oh god, that's a bear pun. Oh no, they're back! <gasps> you did what? What did you do to Nakamaru? What's this? What did I do? I just saved him, that's all. I mean, if I didn't do that, there's no way I could have saved someone who was that close to death. So it just couldn't be helped. <laughs> As soon as we exited, exited the elevator, we started running. Hurry, to the beach on the first island! Alright! Alright, let's haul ass! Even though our minds were completely exhausted, strangely enough, our bodies felt light! Without stopping for anything, we kept right on running toward the beach on the first island. Where in the world is Nekumaru? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Hey! Hey, Nekumaru, show yourself! Listen. We have come to pick you up! Please hurry and come out of hiding! We raised our voices. We looked all around the area. We raised our voices again. We looked around the area again. And so on and so forth. We kept looking for him. But... Hey, hey. What the hell, man? He's nowhere to be found. Damn it. Could it be? Did we get false info from Monokuma again? That's when it happened. We heard a familiar voice echo throughout the beach. <laughs> what happened? Were y'all looking for me? Oh, he's back! Oh! Maybe? That voice! With 
with high hopes in our hearts, we turned toward the direction of the voice. And then we saw something truly unbelievable. What the? Huh? What the? You are... Hajime read my mind. Yo! I've kept you waiting. Hey, what's going on? Perhaps you don't remember my face since we haven't seen each other in a while. That's pretty sad, you know? That's too much! <laughs> um, who are you? Oh. Huh? You too? What's going on? If you're messing with me, I'll stop doing it to you. Um, Nekomaru? Haven't you noticed it yourself? What do you mean, noticed? Oh, you mean this body? <laughs> this is nothing! What the? Nakomaru Nidai! I've been reborn in the rivers of hell! He's a robot! How many days do we have left? Nine days. Nine days left, guys. And there you go! We finished the, uh... We finished the whole... The whole chapter there. To be continued. And that's exactly- Oh, look, we got an- Oh! <laughs> I got an achievement. It says, is it medicine or social skills? Um, we've ob obtained a present, nurse's apron. Uh, yes, we'd like to, to um, save. And that's where we're gonna end it. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh. That is exactly where we are going to end things today. Um, thank you guys for showing up. I'm actually surprised that I didn't start bursting out sobbing in the middle of that. Um, and now you know why this is... Why she's one of my favorite characters. <laughs> in fact, she is my favorite character. And that entire sequence basically solidified it. Um... I would go into more detail about it. I, I will talk more about it probably next stream. But, God, she, oh, she's amazing. <laughs> she's amazing. She's, what the hell? Like, that, it's the most amazing thing for me. I absolutely love her. Um, anyways, thank you guys for, for joining me again. Um, I'm having so much fun doing these, and um, I think Wednesday I'm going to actually take a break um, because I want to set up The Sims, or The Sims 2, I want to set up more of The Sims 2, and I want to actually start a uh, Sims 2 series, um, alternating, uh, we'll, al we'll alternate um, Stardew and The Sims. So one week is, is going to be Stardew, one week will be uh, The Sims. Um, and I think, we're not not this week, but next week I'm going to start The Sims. I'm going to see if I can, can get that going. Uh, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> I'm glad that you guys had some, fu had some fun. Um, I'm glad we could actually get through this. Um, and I will see you next Monday. Bye!